totally appreciate it, big time. So thank you. Um, I have some notes, uh, and this is a really unique challenge for me because what I'm doing is putting together, a, 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 taking a three day retreat uh, that I did five months ago for uh, some of the most amazing young entrepreneurs who I believe are the next generation of business leaders, potentially some of the next Richard Branson's or Steve Jobs uh, or whatever, uh, and where I promised them their next greatest entrepreneurial chapter over, over the course of these three days, deeply aligned with our purpose and playing their biggest game yet. Uh, and, and I'm taking those, the content for those three days and basically summarizing it in one page and 15 minutes for you guys. Yeah. So really unique challenge for me. I'm going to do my best. Uh, first, I'll cover a little bit about myself. Uh, I know so many of you. Uh, so many of you know me. Uh, I almost never, not that I almost never talk about what I do, but I, I've never really in the community uh, shared kind of the big picture. And, and it's, important, it's important for me to share uh, mostly so that you know uh, that this isn't fluff for me that I truly do, uh, truly do walk my talk in my own life. Um, so I'm 27 years old. Uh, I have I have four companies and then others that I'm I kind of invest and advise, and they're all deeply uh, aligned with what I believe my purpose to be, which is accelerating the evolution of love through inspiring and empowering influencers. A uh, tiny bit about the four companies. I'll do a sentence, sentence or two on each. Uh, Vision Tech Team is a creative and tech agency that supports. Uh, visionary entrepreneurs and getting their message out there. Out of that right now, we're kind of birthing uh, through an incubation a uh, company called Influex, which is a combination of influence and expression, uh, which will take what we do for our really high-end clients and uh, spread it out to tens of thousands of people to build their own personal brand online through unique software. Uh, uh, outside of that, there are uh, two companies that are also really deeply aligned with my heart. One of which is called uh, Evolved Enterprise. So I've got couple of these books kind of first come first serve on the uh, on the table back there. So whoever's actually going to read it, uh, grab one. And this is basically about the future of the economy. So, so some of what Shiloh was talking about, uh, the concept of conscious capitalism basically brought into entrepreneurship, aligning uh, with the entrepreneur's soul and then building a business out of that that has a really great impact on the world. Uh, and this, the book's by Yannick Silver, who's my uh, kind of mentor, business partner, uh, really good friend. And then he and I also have an organization called Network Next, which is what I was saying the retreat was for, uh, which is for young entrepreneurs that are 25 and under uh, who are doing really big things in the world. And we basically help align them with greater impact and just accelerate the path uh, moving forward. So that's a uh, little bit about what I do in the business world outside of that. I also am super passionate about spoken word. If I have a minute at the end of this, maybe I'll share a one minute piece. Uh, for those of you who are going to Community Rising, I'm doing a 15 minute piece on community at, uh, at Community Rising, so I'm really excited about that. And other big passion of mine is obviously community and kind of consider myself uh, a servant leader, really passionate about everything that's happening here and uh, really grateful to be able to, to support it. Um, so with that, the four pillars are actually really simple for uh, one syllable questions. Why? What, who, and how, in that order. Uh, and it's important that they're, they're, they're in that order. For me, all my hows and all my whats revolve around my why. So finding the why first. Why is basically your purpose, your North Star, your guidance. And I'll share uh, about a dozen very specific questions. And I'll post these on Facebook after so you don't have to write them down. Uh, but there's always this debate of how do I how do I find my purpose? Do I really need to find my purpose? And so on and so forth. It's actually a pretty simple process. Once you answer these specific questions, you get in touch with it, and then it evolves over time. Uh, the what becomes your vision. So what are you actually building out of, out of your purpose? And I'll share some resources on that. Uh, the who becomes now that you know your purpose and you know your vision and your business model or your career, whatever it may be. Who do you have to step into to fully live that out in the world? To fully serve at your highest, and that becomes this whole world of personal development, but now a lot more directed based on your North Star. And then the how, which is where almost everybody starts, becomes just strategy. So how do you actually put stuff together? How do you actually live stuff out uh, and in a way that, that actually has an impact? So with that, I'm gonna read a few of these off, and then we'll talk about them a little bit. So the questions for why. Uh, why being, again, your purpose, your North Star, uh, the thing that guides everything else. Uh, first question, what would you do even if you knew you would fail? So different from what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? A lot of us talk about that one. 
But what would you commit yourself to, even if you knew that you wouldn't succeed at it? Even if you knew that you would die trying? And I get goosebumps every time I even ask myself that. And having answered that for myself over the course of the last several years has guided my path, regardless of how much money I'm making, regardless of how much external impact I've seen from my work. Having clarity on that gives me guidance no matter how dark everything around me might be. So what would you do even if you knew it would fail? Next one gives you wisdom. So what would my 111 year old self say about my highest contribution? So sitting in meditation for yourself, really moving forward into your future, and your oldest self, oldest wisest self that's looking back on your life that you can imagine, looking back to where you are now, what would, what would he or she say to you about your highest contribution? Next one is about the world you want to create. And it's a really good question is, what, what do I want to be absurd in 20 years? And a little explanation on that one. Uh, 20 years ago, it wasn't absurd to go to a McDonald's drive through drive down the highway, throw your bag out the drive uh, throw your bag out the, uh, out the window after you're done. That was not an absurd thing. Now it is. Uh, if you see that happening, it's absurd. Uh, really good one. Good, good friend of mine, uh, Mike Bledsoe, who, who uh, did some of this retreat with me, uh, said what he would like to be absurd in 20 years is people going to work that are not passionate about their job and have to just do it every day. And that's part of what he's committed to in his life. So what would you like to be absurd, absolutely absurd in 20 years, and then commit yourself to making that change in your uh, Next two, I swiped from Mark Manson, really great article on purpose. What is true about me today that would make my eight-year-old self cry? So looking at where your life is now, and then uh, looking, looking back and, and imagining your eight-year-old self, looking at your life right now, and what does that little kid think? So what is true about me today that would make my eight-year-old self cry? That'll get you to drop things really quickly. And then uh, also from Mark Manson, what makes me forget to eat and poop? <laughs> this is a really good passion. Yeah? You're, you're sitting there just, just working, and you forget everything else in the world, everything else in your life, whether it's writing, whether it's speaking, whether it's building businesses, whatever, whatever it might be, but you're, you just forget. Right? About all the external world, including your bodily functions. That gives you an idea of what will bring you the greatest joy for the rest of your life. And then I have uh, five quick optional ones that we'll dive into detail on those. But these first five are, are the most crucial. And if you get through those, you've got, uh, you've got probably further along in your question of what is my purpose? Why am I here? What am I doing? Uh, then uh, I imagine almost any exercise that I've ever seen. So these next five, optional, but what unique gifts do I have to the world? What music is within, was within me that I don't want to take to my grave? If I had one year left to live, what would I do? What makes me feel truly alive? How am I going to save the world? What would I do if I couldn't fail? It's different from the first one, but also gives you really great insights. And then a uh, really fun one is write 25 reasons for why you work. Uh, so writing those out. Uh, usually there's actually only one or two there that really matters. And those one or two will align with the first five questions uh, in some way or another. Uh, but the, the first few reasons probably won't be those. So write 25 reasons why you work and then identify which of those matter most. And then a um, really good resource for this uh, is The Greatest Work of Your Life by Stephen Cole. Who's either heard of or read that book? It's the greatest work of your life by Stephen Cove. Uh, basically, a, basically a collection of stories and exercises on finding your dharma and finding your path. Mm. Uh, really, really inspiring piece of work. Um, so with that, once you have your why, your what becomes so much easier. So many people start with the what. What do I want to do with my life, right? It's Once you have your why clear, all of a sudden the what narrows down. You can cut out 95% of the things you've been thinking about. And the what is, is two separate pieces. One is your business model, or if you're not an entrepreneur, your, your career, your job, whatever it may be. Right? It's answering that for yourself in a way that fits with your why. And then the other side of your what is your vision for that. And the vision, there's a, specific, a couple of specific exercises you can do as well. One is called, uh, for a company, the vivid vision process. 
So looking at your company three years out from today, right even in the present tense, it is 2020 and Vision Tech Team is. And then writing that out, what does my team look like at that point? What does the culture look like? Where is the revenue, so on and so forth. So now that I have my why, I have this other North Star, which is guiding me in all my strategy along the way. And you, and you can do the same thing personally for yourself. So it is 2020 and my life is X. And describe your life in the present moment for exactly how you want it to be. That's in alignment with that purpose that you identified out of the first piece. Um, and that'll give you guidance. You don't have to know the how yet because that's the last step. Um, and two, uh, two good books for that. So for the business side, we have this uh, plug on this, Developed Enterprise. Uh, and then other one is by Cameron Harrell um, uh, called Double Double. Or if you just go to Cameron Harrell's website, slash vivid-vision, um, he has a bunch of examples on there. Uh, again, more for the, for the entrepreneurial crowd. And on the personal side, you can use those as examples for uh, writing the personal vision for your life. Um, and then for personal brands, a book that helps a lot with what? If you're building something that, based on a uh, passion of yours, Crush It by Gary Vaynerchuk. Many, many people have read that book, pretty popular one. What's it called? Uh, Crush It by Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, so then, uh, so then the, the third piece being the who. So, so the, the who is the, uh, is who's doing all this work. So if you've identified the purpose, you've identified your vision, and what you're actually creating in the world, uh, you're, you're now the vessel that is here to navigate all of that, to make it all come to, come to reality. And the question then becomes, are you being the best version of yourself to really live out your purpose, to really live out your mission, to really build this vision that you've set for yourself? And this is where all the personal growth comes in. And now you can eliminate easily you know, 80, 90% of maybe the personal growth workshops that pull you in every direction because you're clear on where you're going. And now who you want to become becomes in deep alignment with whatever your purpose is. Uh, one key piece for me out of the who has been uh, rituals. So forming daily rituals, morning rituals, uh, evening rituals. Uh, and and uh, I, found, I found that before I formed these, you know, I was very purpose driven, but I wasn't actually living out my highest expression of love, living out my purpose. And I was actually, in knowing my purpose at that point, I actually started to feel sick in my stomach between who I was, how I was showing up, <coughs> and what I knew I was here for. Mm -hmm. um, so some of uh, my, my rituals, uh, super simple, wake up in the morning, big glass of water, uh, quality up, which has been awesome in life, changing. I need to take another nootropic, but, um, so big glass of water, uh, quality up, five minute journal, um, and then do a 10 minute yoga flow, 10 minute meditation, uh, breakfast, review my plan for the day, and go ahead and get started. Uh, so super simple, takes me less than an hour, but gives me the strong foundation for the day. And then end of each day, uh, plan my day for, uh, for the next day. I use a tool called Productivity Planner. Um, I'll also post that in the group. It's uh, really life changing. Um, it's probably double my level of output without really any additional effort. Um, and then five minute journal, read 10 pages, go to bed. Uh, so super simple in the evening. But again, just as part of the group, I think the greatest thing you can do is form some sort of structure around your life that helps you fill on whatever it is your purpose and, and mission and vision actually is. <laughs> Did you say you're going to post these on? on yeah, the, yeah, I'll post them. I'll post them on the uh, I guess on the event page, or if not, I'll post them in the, in the Facebook community group. Uh, who's part of that group, by the way? Who's not? Facebook community. What's the name? Uh, San Diego uh, conscious community group. What was that? On the event. Cool. I'll just post it on the event. There's okay. also a community speaker series group. Oh, awesome. So we can link that. Cool. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll post it. it. It'll get somewhere. Yeah. And you'll make sure if you're amazing. Yeah. Where did you say double your productivity? Yeah. Where did you say what? Uh, productivity planner. Okay. Yeah. Um, just a tool by the same guys who made Five Minute Journal. Um, and it basically helps you plan your day, plan your week. Uh, and actually follow through on stuff, and it's super, super simple and effective, almost effortless to actually do, uh, but gets you really clear on what you're <coughs> trying to follow through on. Um, cool, and then a uh, book that, I, I do a lot of audio books, I used to do like two or three books a week, I'm less crazy now, and I do maybe <laughs> one or two a month, um, and I used I, I do like audio books on 3x, so I just, like died through so many of them. Um, but, uh, but one book that I would, I would recommend that's, that's actually a really short, simple, short story 
that for me has probably helped me step up in the who part of part of this journey um, more than anything else ever has is Jonathan Livingston Siegel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 so we have it ready. You got enough audio response. <laughs> 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 Uh, that's Jonathan Livingston Siegel by uh, my virtual phone. Uh, okay, it'll, it'll help you learn how to fly. Um, and then finally, finally is the hack. Uh, and, and this is where most people start, right? They, they say they want to do something big. The first question is how they give up because they don't know the strategy. Or they get lost in the countless amount of seminars, books, educational materials, so on and so forth. Um, the how actually gets really simple and easy, and you know exactly what to study once you're clear on your purpose and your why, once you're clear on what you're building, once you're clear on who you have to become to actually live all of that out, now you just say, cool, this is a simple strategy. You, whether it's getting yourself a mentor, getting to the right kind of events, getting the right kind of education for yourself. Again, now you can eliminate 95% of what comes into your world because you immediately can filter whether it's relevant or not based on your mission and purpose. And you just get super clear. Uh, for me, there have been specific how books that have massively changed my life and my business career. Uh, one of those has been Traction by Gina Whitman. But um, it, it, they're not, they're probably less relevant because they're specific to my path and, and they've been about you know, scaling a team or an organization. Uh, but again, for you, once you're clear on the exact path, then the how resources become really easy to find and the strategy becomes really simple to put together. Uh, so that's, uh, that's about it.